Heartbroken over the lost and the kidnapped. Six months on from the Hamas massacre at the Nova Music Festival in southern Israel, the grief is still raw. 364 young Israelis were slaughtered as they danced. 40 were taken across the border to Gaza as hostages. Some who survived witnessed the rape and torture of their friends. Erez Zafati, who lost his 22-year-old daughter, is angry with the government. We haven't received any invitation or whatever from any official in the government, so we are very, very disappointed. We expected and we are still expecting the government to uh, look into our, our situation. Protesters are angry too. They want the government to agree to a deal with Hamas to release the hostages at any cost. But not everyone agrees. A car rammed into a crowd of demonstrators injuring at least three people. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel is one step away from victory. But six months into this war, the country is divided domestically, isolated internationally, and now facing the possibility of war on two fronts. And that's left many people questioning if this is really what winning looks like. In the southern city of Khan Yunus, the last group of Israeli soldiers has pulled out. The army says it did so in order to prepare for future operations. Many returned to see what was left of their homes, but found a city in ruins. We came to see what happened to our house, but we didn't find any houses. It's all just rubble. You can't live here. Further south, in Rafa, 11-year-old Rima struggles to get a meal for her family of seven. If we get there early, we get some food, she says. But if we get there too late, we won't have anything to eat. Israel has vowed a ground offensive to finish off Hamas in Rafa, where more than a million Palestinians have fled. And there's no indication that plan has changed. Lauren Day, ABC News, Jerusalem.